Hey everyone, just going to run you through the training that I did today. Uh, today was the first day of a new training cycle where I'll be doing a T1 lower body and T2 upper body movement and uh, vice versa on the next day for uh, six days straight. So today's Monday. I've got T1 squats and uh, T2 bench worked up to a heavy triple of 405 and that felt good. After that I dropped back down to some more T1 range reps and I did 345 for three sets of five reps. The only thing that I wore for the belt for today was that 405 set of three. And um, all the squats felt pretty good today. They felt pretty fast. Not nearly as fast as Friday, but I was showing you some extra warm-up sets that I usually don't show um, just for the purpose of demonstrating that even with weights that are well below your T2 range or on the lower scale of intensity, even though they're light and they might feel like nothing, it's still really important to to treat those reps like they matter. You need to treat those sets and those reps uh, with just as much importance as your T2, T, especially T1 weights, because that's how you pattern and build the way that you move with these with these barbells. And if you cannot move uh, 225 fast and with pretty damn good form, then you'll get to something like this, 405 for three, and your form is likely to be slow and crappy. And uh, the 405 for three, although not nearly as fast as what I did on Friday, the 415 for three, I definitely feel pretty good about it, considering the high stress and high volume and very high intensity that I worked with on Friday, setting that new 3 rep max PR and a new 10 rep max PR on the same day. Now, after that 405 triple, I knocked it back down to 345 and I did three sets of five reps and these were all beltless and these all felt pretty good, very minimal chest cave and I was trying to get this work done as fast as I can and I think I remember listening to Master of Puppets during the 405 triple set and then the first two sets of five on 345. So that's a decent amount of work done in a relatively small amount of time. I think all of my squats, warm-ups included, took just under 40 minutes or so. And um, really what I'm trying to do is maintain some semblance of conditioning and work capacity during this um, T1-focused training cycle for the next four weeks. And um, of course, as the intensities creep up, my rest periods are going to have to increase. My workout density is going to decrease, and the overall volume is going to decrease. And so therefore, my capacity will decrease. But hey, that's why we have block periodization, and that's why we work into different parts of our training at different times of the year. And I just finished building capacity uh, that was pretty great for the last four weeks. And so I don't want to lose all of that by taking my sweet time in the gym, resting three, four, five minutes between submaximal weights. So got through all my squats, feel pretty good about them. They weren't insanely fast, but the movement quality uh, I'm definitely satisfied with. So after those squats in the T1 range, I went back down to my T2 movement for today, which is bench press. And that was uh, 225 for seven sets of three reps. And on the last rep of each set, I was pausing and um, during these bench movements and uh, the squat, I was trying to accelerate the bar as fast as I could and uh, trying to utilize that CAT principle, the compensatory acceleration training principle that Dr. Fred Hatfield kind of pioneered. I'm um, not saying that these are as fast as they ought to be, but really trying to accelerate the bar through the full range of motion is what kind of separates uh, a good lifter from a not so good lifter and I'm trying to be a good lifter here so I'm going to try to accelerate the bars as fast as I can even with weights that are not as heavy as um, I could move and 225 is something around 80 percent so keeping that in mind I moved back down to my T3 range so my T3 movements for the these training days are going to be accessories for whatever the T1 movement is. So my T1 movement today was squats. Today, uh, for my T3, I did these snatch grip deficit stiff leg 14 G's and S's and D's. Uh, did four sets of 10 reps on those. And I was doing those as fast as I could. And uh, after that, I 
went over and I did this superset. I'm showing you this because I almost take my nuts out right there. And uh, that would have sucked. And that would have ended the training day on a really bad note. So, uh, first of all, I'm glad I didn't get hit in the nuts. Second of all, I'm glad that uh, the first day in this training block of doing a T1 upper and a T2 lower uh, went pretty well. So, thanks for watching. And uh, let's hope that this next four weeks goes as well as the last four weeks.